Hi, I'm David Rothschild from the Seaforth area of the Northern Beaches. I guess we'd have to say that the market is still super strong in our part of the world. Baby boomers are on the move back to where they'd like to live. Minwu of Neutral Bay Office, um, it is a challenging but a very interesting market. Even from the first day of the lockdown, people call me from Hong Kong saying that, can I pick a bargain? If you got any bargain, just call me. I've got friends and relatives who can buy property from me. It is not only one or two prospective buyers calling me, but a few of them, because especially they want to come back, bring the second or the third generation come back to Sydney to study or to live. I'm very positive, especially we're looking forward to next year, a lot more um, overseas buyers will be coming back to the market. My name's Nick Yates. I'm from the agency specialising in Mossman, Neutral Bay, Cremorne. At the moment, a lot of people keep asking what is the market doing, how has COVID affected the market. In short, I say that we've got a severe shortage of stock in good areas like Mossman, Neutral Bay, Cremorne that are highly sought after. There's always good demand and with money being so cheap, I actually believe it's a very, very stable market and I think it's a very even playing field for both sellers and buyers. There's a lot of people that are upsizing, downsizing, there's a lot of people relocating, wanting bigger houses because they're working a lot more from home. Uh, and I really don't think the market's been affected at all yet by COVID and I think that the Lower North Shore is probably one of the most resilient markets in Sydney. Dino Gaddy, I work at the agency Lower North Shore, specialising in anything really, but mostly the top end. Recently we've had unprecedented demand for high-end properties, namely Waterfront and, um, and Prestige. Uh, Kingsley and I have just exchanged on $20 million worth of properties in the last 10 days. Uh, you know, the last time we've seen this is probably near on 10 years ago. So uh, we'd like to expand on that and, uh, and grow as a, as a team, but um, yeah, it's been a fantastic few months leading out of what has been a you know, difficult time for most people. Um, but you know, for us, it's a, it's a very strong market. Sunny Gandhi from the Hills District, specialising in Castle Hill. Uh, what we've seen is that our market's shown a lot of resilience over the, throughout the COVID period with auction clearance rates outperforming all of the regions um, and you know, as, and very comparable to the inner west and the lower north shore. We feel at the end of the job keeper and job seeker, um, we feel the market will continue to hold and even, even as predicted by the CBA as well most recently, uh, we don't really expect any sharp declines in the market. Danny Grant from the Willoughby Northridge area. We know the market's doing okay when we've got buyers proactively calling us to find out if we've got stock coming up on the market, which means that there's not much stock around. The only things we notice that aren't selling on the market at the moment are the homes that are overpriced and undermarketed. Hi, I'm Pete Shipley and I work on Sydney's Lower North Shore. At the moment, the market is very, very fluid. What I mean by that is that buyers are expecting bargains and sellers are also expecting higher than usual prices. What they are getting is that. They are achieving prices which are blowing our socks off at, at the moment. The last five sales I've had, four of those have actually been building records, which is testament to the lack of stock in the marketplace. Buyers obviously are frustrated. There are less of them out there. However, those who are actively looking are genuine and are wanting to buy. The lack of stock is helping to push prices forward. So if you are thinking about selling, now is probably the time. Hi, my name is Scott Thornton from the Lower North Shore office. Now more than ever, strategy plays an important part into making sure that you get the best outcome. We're seeing really strong demand in the upper end of the market and you know, the inquiry has been absolutely phenomenal considering obviously the climate that we're in. A lot of young families upsizing, taking advantage of the record low interest rate. I believe we are going to be moving into a lot stronger market in the next 12 months. Hi, I'm Stephen Crooks from Avalon on the Northern Beaches. Uh, we're finding very strong demand with 82% of buyers coming from out of area into our zone. And a lot of them are coming from the eastern suburbs, inner city, lower North Shore. And uh, so the referral basis within the agency is just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the people from the eastern suburbs and inner city are relocating for the northern beaches because it's just seen as a destination spot. Hi, my name's Lincoln McCarthy. I represent the northern beaches, Sydney. 
The market's actually been pretty strong this year with auction clearance rates in the last few months hovering around 70 to 80 percent. There's definitely an opportunity in looking at selling this year and be cashed up and potentially shopping in the new year where stock levels are expected to increase. In the local market, we're still seeing properties sitting on about 30 to 35 days, which is pretty standard. Uh, despite everything happening, the market's continuing to fire along pretty strongly on the beaches. Um, my name's Max Wagshall and I specialise in the Neutral Bay market. I suppose one of the things that's really been quite interesting to me this year has been the resilience of the Neutral Bay market and we actually recently sold a property um, sight unseen where the lady had been in lockdown down in Melbourne and we had to take her through during a Zoom conference call and we transacted the property all remotely um, within a couple of days. And I guess that just really shows how confident people, the confidence people have with property in this area. Um, and I don't think that's gonna change in the short to medium term. Hi, my name is Shane Slater. I've been working on the Low North Shore for the last 20 years. My observations have been that the, the stock levels are at a record low and there's really strong buyer demand. So if you are thinking of selling in the next 12 to 24 months, my recommendation would be to do it sooner rather than later as we just don't know what the next 12 months will bring. Uh, the big question is what's going to happen after JobKeeper and JobSeeker finishes and what we do think will happen is that there's going to be a lot more stock coming on the market which will have an impact on prices. In terms of uh, inspections at properties, we're seeing less buyers through the door but the buyers that we are seeing are cashed up, genuine and looking to transact pretty, pretty quickly. Hi, Rick Woodward from the agency here uh, looking after Northridge, Willoughby, Camaray and Castle Crag. Each weekend we're seeing the clearance rate hold around 85% with 80% of stock throughout those four areas selling prior to auction showing the demand is strong for buyers to jump in ahead of an auction day. Uh, what we are seeing is a real lack of stock available at the moment which is maintaining high prices throughout those suburbs. Catherine Murphy from the Epping office. We have been really busy over the last few months. I think what's really driving that is that in Epping and North Epping, we have got the backyard. So that has really come to the forefront during COVID. A lot of people from the inner west uh, has started to come to our area and have really appreciated the space that Epping and North Epping affords and offers. So we have been really lucky and blessed with a lot of buyers looking. But the interesting thing is, is that we really don't have very much stock. I mean, who really wants to sell a house during, during a pandemic? So as a result, the houses that have been on the market have been going for some extraordinary prices. If I had a house to sell at the moment, I would not be waiting till next year. I would really be capitalising on the strength of the market, the buyers that are currently around and the limited stock. And I'll tell you what, you'll get a fantastic price. Hi, I'm Gary Woodward from the French's Forest Belrose area. Our biggest challenge at the moment is really just stock. We haven't got enough stock. We've got the qualified buyers coming from like the eastern suburbs, Northbridge, Willoughby. Probably 90% of our sales are from people outside the area, which has been great. We have so many referrals from my colleagues in the eastern suburbs and the Northbridge area. 